Hi, this is Lou Robin from EatPressEssentials.com. I want to welcome you to another tutorial video uh, from our series of videos that we placed on YouTube. Uh, today's video is a, a tutorial on how we use the new T Squared 2. Over the last three and a half years, we've been selling the T Squared. Well, we've made some improvements, some suggestions from our, some of our, our past clients, and I'm holding a new T-squared 2 in my hand. Although it looks a lot like the old T-squared, we've made some improvements with the uh, collar plate and with the center bar and with the width bar. And these improvements we're going to be showing you through this video. And hope stand by, and we're going to show you how we apply a transfer to an apparel using T-squared 2. Thank you. Okay, the next thing we want to show you are the differences between the T Square uh, original and the new T Square 2. The, the first thing is the uh, back collar plate used to go behind the pad, and you had to line up the collar and you, you'd place it on the pad and put it there, and then you had to line up the seam to these arrows. Well, we did away with that by making a, a flat back plate, and what we've done here is easier for you to line up arrows that we have on top and we're going to give you a different view of this here in a moment and we also made the center bar we made this uh, 20 and a half inches long for the, for the longer my, my press is only 15 by 15 so the longer um, uh, center bar is 20 and a half and it's 18 inches uh, with the ruler size and the um, back collar plate is 9 inches by 2 and a half inches the width bar we used to have a slide on where you had to slide it on and then slide it off. Now we just made it so that you can place it over the top and move it at your leisure or remove it when you don't need to use it without bothering the center bar. The next thing we're going to be doing is showing you how to do the actual transfer. And one, one other thing we added was these uh, little rubberized feet so it raises the uh, center bar so that you can easily slide the transfer underneath which you'll see in our demonstration. The first thing we want to do is to line up our collar plate with our seams of our, our, our t-shirt. So as you can see we have the arrows going across and we have them kind of in a little bit of, of an arc. So here you see the arrow um, and this end here which is basically three and a half is at that seam and the arrow on the other side is also at that seam which actually puts us right in the middle. As long as these arrows line up in the same position on both sides then you're, uh, then you're, you're uh, centered on your, on your collar. The next thing we want to do is to check the width bar which we have here. We want to make sure that the uh, sides of the shirts are uh, even on both sides. So to verify that we're even on both sides we uh, bring our width bar down and what I want to do is bring it down to check the seams uh, on, on, of, the, of the sleeves and on this side I'm at uh, 11 and a half and on this side um, at 11 and a half so basically I double check myself the collar plate is centered the width bar is centered so my t-shirt is centered the next thing we want to do is to place our transfer The transfer I'm going to be doing is my basically my logo for my business, which is LJ Robin Marketing, and I did this with JPSS Jet Pro Soft Stretch, and uh, I'm going to be putting it on a white T-shirt. Uh, we're not really going to press today because I'm I'm trying to do demos and I don't have my press on. It's basically to show you how the uh, the T-square works. So uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, placing this where I want it. I'm going to place it underneath the you notice how easy that slid under underneath the t-square it I want to put it about three inches down so this is the bottom seam I'm gonna work from that seam I'm gonna go one two and I'm gonna bring this down to three okay next thing I need to do is make sure that it's correct on both sides so I take my width bar and I move it to where I want it uh, here I've got this is five and a half and this is four and a half so I know I need to bring this over and we're going to place this right at five 
and about five and a quarter on both sides, five and a quarter on both sides. So that's centered. Now I want to make sure I'm parallel. Well, we're lucky because the Jet Pro Soft Stretch also has line grids on the back, so I'm just going to make sure that this is parallel on both sides, so I have that even. And that is where my um, transfer will be pressed at. I'll re I can remove both of these from my heat press, and if I was pressing it, uh, I'd be pressing this at the temperatures, the time, and the pressure that the uh, requirements call for. And that's how you do use the T-squared. Now, I'm talking, so naturally it's taking a little longer to, uh, to demonstrate, but to, the actual use of a T-squared is, is much, much faster. And you'll find that out by using it yourself. And uh, at the end of this video, you'll see um, the list of not only my company, but several of the other vendors that sell the T-squared. So thank you for watching.